this? What's your name? What do you want the people to do? Yeah. Subscribe? Yeah. Tell them to like. No, Tell them the, if, if this video gets a thousand likes, my dad will take me to... Where do you want to go? You want to go to Las Vegas? Well, if this video gets a thousand likes, you're on your way. <laughs> and if it doesn't, you're still on your way. I'm still going to take you. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's go down my hallway. Let's go in my room. Let's go look for something real quick. I was looking for... Bam. What do you need to get? Business card. People say, I got some in my car. I got some in my truck. And I got some in my room. And somebody comes into my house like, hey, I need some junk removal. People say you don't need business cards, but... Honestly, you do. I can't even get them out of my damn car. Boom. Front. America Junk Removal. We take what the garbage man can't. Number. Website. Back. Boom. Your board standing right there. Boom, boom, boom. A little exclamation. Bye, bye, bye. Services. Boom, 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 boom. Do you guys have business cards? Of course you do. And if you don't, Go get some. Every time I go do a junk removal job, people are like, hey, do you have some business cards? And I'm like, yep, here you go. And then they're like, okay, cool. Cause I'm gonna give some to my neighbors. I'm gonna give some to my friends. I'm gonna give some to my coworkers. Get business cards. Should you invest in shirts? Yes, invest in shirts. You know why? Cause when you roll up in a big old truck and it says America junk removal, and then you show up with two people with shirts, they look at you like, damn, these people look like they mean business. So yeah, it, does it work? Yeah. Yeah. So get some shirts, get some business cards, get some magnets on your car. Yeah, just show up, be friendly, professional. Boom, 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 boom. They start to like you a little bit, give you a little tip, you know what I mean? Show them that you're a hard worker and boom, you're in business. Then they'd be like, hey, you want a soda? You want a water and like, I used to turn them down all the time, like, oh no, we're cool, you know, we have some in the car. But it's like, just get the water, get the soda. Let them feel like they're doing something good for you, which they are. But yeah, just take the soda and the water. And then you get some customers that are like, oh, you don't have to wear the mask. And I'm just like, oh, okay, cool, whatever. But usually we show up with a mask on and if they're like, oh, you don't have to wear it. And we're like, okay, cool. We're vaccinated anyway. So. I could already hear somebody. It doesn't matter. You can still get Corona. You know what? I'm over it. I'm over Corona. We survived. There's people that didn't survive. And there's people that survived. And that's it. We just have to deal with it and move on. Here's the back of the shirt, bro. It just says, show me your junk and my phone number. Flip it over. America Junk Removal. Woo! These were just made at, at my my girl's friend's house or something, but I'm gonna get them professionally made. <laughs> All right, I stopped recording. Ah! <laughs> Before, I would not have shirts. I didn't even have business cards. I would print little flyers and freaking give those out. Or uh, now I'm just like, dude, I should have just invested in all this stuff when I used to do junk removal the first time around. Cause you just look better, bro. Get some shirts made and get some business cards. You know, go the nine yards. I like that laugh. That's why I keep doing this. You guys like it? Let me know down below. I gotta tell you a story. I gotta tell you a story about, no, it's not a Christmas tree, it's our lamp. Okay, so basically I get a phone call from a customer and she's like, hey, I have a, a pile of junk. I need hauled away. We're cleaning up our backyard. Cleaning up our backyard and I need to haul the way. If I had a pickup truck, I would take it in one load and blah, blah, blah. She's telling me all this, right? And I'm like, okay, cool. Send me some pictures and then I could give you a estimate. You like to be on the camera or what? Yeah. Okay. So she sends me a picture and she puts, at the time I didn't catch it, but she puts, uh, this is the two piles I have. 
and here's a picture or whatever and I look at it it's just a cut up swimming pool and bags of trash some other stuff so it's not a big pile you know it's not that crazy whatever so I give her a price and she's like okay great when can you come and then I told her I'll be here at this time she's like great and then fast forward to the day of the job and I did a one job before plus I did an estimate and I got done early and I was like hey can I uh I text her like hey can I show up a little early I'm in the area already and she's she calls me and she's like hey this is so and so from whatever street she was on and uh yeah that's fine you could come over uh, my husband's in the backyard cleaning up and then uh I'll pay you through Zelle if that's okay. And I was like, yeah, that's fine, whatever. And she's like, okay, the first pile's in the front and the second pile's in the back. And I'm just like, what do you mean? I was confused. I was like, what? What are you talking about? But I was like, maybe they moved some of it to the front and they couldn't move the rest. So I roll up to the address and then um, I see a pile and I'm like, Oh, uh, this wasn't in the picture. And then I go to the back because she told me, just make your way to the back. My husband will be back there. I go back there. There is an, the original pile I saw. And I was like, what? This is like double the stuff. And then um, the husband wasn't in the back. And she's like, don't even bother ringing the doorbell or whatever. And I was already like, well, I got to ring the doorbell because no one's in the back. And the neighbors are there. I don't want them to think I'm just like trying to jack them even though i have my shirt and a big old truck that says america junk move on the front but whatever whatever fast forward i talked to the husband i'm just like hey sir i only got one picture and then i didn't get the picture of the second stuff and he's like i told her to send it to you and he's like let me call her and then i he he gets on the phone and he's like hey um he's saying he only got one picture and I could hear in the background like, no, I can't. I sent him two pictures and I don't know what. And he's like, well, it's gonna be double the price. And she's like, no, just for that stuff in the back. And I was, like, so it's it's only this price for that stuff in the back. And I was just like, and he's like, apparently. And then he's like, well, we have to do it. We have to do it. We can't just leave the stuff in the front. It's already been out there for a week. And blah, 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 boom, 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 boom. And I'm just like, damn, this is not going to turn out well. This is not going in the good direction. So fast forward a little bit. He's like, let's just do it. Load it up. We'll pay you. Boom, boom, boom. And then he's like, you know, oh, before he said that, he's like, you can't meet me halfway. And I was like, sir, the best I could do is give you $25 off. If you don't want to do it, I understand. You could call someone else to come give you a quote or an estimate. But that's what I'm charging. And the best I could do is $25 off. And so I, let's do it, whatever. And in the back of my mind, I was like, dang, they're going to make me load this. And they're just going to say, hey, we're just going to pay you 100 because that's what we agreed on. And I couldn't really, I, I, I had that in the back of my head. I even, I even told Cynthia, like, I think we're going to have to unload this stuff after we're done. And then we loaded up, 20 minutes passed by. And then I talked to the guy, like, okay, we're done. Um, we're done. Is there anything else? that we missed or whatever and he's like no you guys did a great job did she send you the payment and i was like no she hasn't sent it to me and he's like okay let me call her so she could send it and then he's on the phone and his wife is like hold on i'm going i'm on my way i could hear like chattering and then he the dude i could tell was like kind of like uh oh something's gonna happen because She's on her way, and I was just like, in the back of my head, I'm like, dang, I knew I was going to have to unload this. I knew it. And then I just hear the car go, Err! boom. And then the lady just comes at me like, I sent you two pictures, and I don't know what, and the we had the price, and I told her, I only got one picture, ma'am. And I showed her my phone, like, look. And she's like, well, look at my phone. I have two pictures. And I was just like, okay, let me see your pictures. So I look at the thing, and then she's like, I don't know why this picture says it's sent a little bit later, but I sent them right after each other. And I looked at the picture, and I was like, ma'am, it has an exclamation mark. That means that it didn't go through. 
and she was even waving her arms and stuff and i was just like whoa and then after when i said that i was staring at her face and it went from to oh to like oh i know i looked the you know what i mean so after that her whole demeanor changed she was like some nice lady and the dude was like oh, okay cool the, i think the dude was scared he was scared because she was on her way after she said that she wasn't going to be there. She had to go do an errand. So she left her errand all the way back to her house just to try to confront me. And then she figured out that she did mess up and her demeanor just changed. So, yeah, that was my little experience. So be very detailed. If a customer says there's two piles and they only send one picture, ask them. How many pictures did you send? Or anytime anybody sends you pictures, just be like, just want to confirm you sent me so-and-so amount of pictures. And then they'll be like, yeah, I sent you four pictures. And if there's an issue, they'll be like, no, I sent you four issues. And then you just tell them, I only received this one and this one. So yeah, I learned my lesson on that. Make sure I tell customers how many pictures they sent me because... I had that little feeling when I got there and I was like, oh no, like there's more stuff. And I wanted to be a nice guy. And I was just gonna be like, you know what? I'll just do it for the first price. But then I was just like, no, nah, it's not your fault. You gotta tell them. So right when I got off the car, I told Cynthia like, hey, I gotta talk to these people because they only sent me the picture in the back. This is way more stuff. But it worked out. What do you do in those situations? Let me know down below. I'm curious on how you guys handle it. Did I handle it properly or did should I just done it for the original price? Let me know.